Roman Feraldo is undefeated at 5-0, looking, working to make it 6-0 at Bellator MMA 262 on Friday, July 16th. The main card will be on Showtime, Roman will be on the preliminaries, and that will be on the YouTube channel, Bellators, as well as Showtime, Sports YouTube channel, and Pluto TV. Thank you, Roman. Hey, you're fighting John Ramirez. He's at 5-5. Five and five. Do you know anything about him? Uh, you know, just a, just a little bit of, of research that I've done on him. You know, 5-5, five and five, South Paul, coming off of uh, a victory, his last fight. You know, super excited, man. I'm just really excited to get back in there. It could have been anyone. Um, you know, I'm a competitor at the end of the day, so just ready to go. Roman, you defeated this giant, the six foot seven guy, in your last bout. When you're preparing for fights, you mentioned that John is a southpaw. Are you looking at the heights, the weights, which side they're fighting, things like that? And Roman, I also know each fight can be different. Yeah, you know, obviously with uh, with research on your opponent, you're gonna. Uh, I'm super blessed to be an American Top Team. We have uh, you know plethora of uh, professionals. Ranging in different sizes, uh, you know, and backgrounds, and it, it it definitely helped out to do some research so you can kind of get an idea of who you're fighting. But at the end of the day, you know, every fight's different, everybody fights different, so being able to adapt in the moment is, is huge. And um, I was, you know, I've been super blessed to uh, be able to train with some of the guys that uh, I have at this camp, and um, you know, I feel like I'm prepared for anything. And being prepared, like you said, at America Top Team, one of the best, if not the best, training facility in the world. So many great fighters in South Florida. So many great coaches in South Florida. And we've got other facilities here, too. So it's like a hotbed down here, Roman. How did you pick ATT? And were you pursued or interested in any of the other training facilities down here? Um, well, you know, I have... Uh, I've had the opportunity to train at multiple gyms in South Florida. Like you said, it's it's a hub for mixed martial arts. Um, and I did my, you know, I did my due diligence. I, I went around tra uh, training at different gyms. And, um, you know, before I was actually at ATT, I spent uh, three years uh, under uh, Daniel Mendez and JJ Cavalcante at Fight Sports. And um, you know, I was just looking for I was looking for a, a move up with uh, and and um, I would say training partners. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to have great coaches, but just wasn't I didn't have the guys around me that was necessary to push me. And um, you know, making the move to ATT was more so uh, a, a coaching a coaching move. Uh, I have I'm also under a gentleman named Paulino Hernandez and my cousin Juan Carlos Peraldo down at Elite Athletic Performance, and they have ties with American Top Team through, you know, George Masvidal, you know, Joel Romero, Andre Arlovsky. So it, it just, it, you know, it seemed like it seemed like the, the right thing to do. And, uh, you know, given the background, given, you know, with family, friends, it, it tried it out, perfect match. You mentioned Elite Athletic Performance. That is a training center for all types of athletes, if I'm correct. Yes, sir. Geez, what was that like? I didn't know that part of it. I knew about the American Top Team and the incredible work there. What was it like being at that place or finding that place? Uh, I mean, it's been great. I'm still there. Um, uh, I'm there a few times a week. Um, like I said, under under Paulino Hernandez, Juan Carlos Ferrado, and uh, the owner of the gym, Gallo. Uh, it's great, man. You know, it, like you said, there's... Uh, all athletes of all, you know, of all types, you know, gymna uh, gymnastics, uh, baseball, football, um, swimming, uh, CrossFit. It's, you know, it's, it's a hub for athletes, which is great. You know, you're surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who are all competitors. So and it's the same thing at ATT. You know, everybody's striving to be the best. And I'm, that, I try to put myself around those, you know, those, those type of uh, individuals who are, striving to be the best. You know, you are who you surround yourself with. I, I truly believe that. Uh, it's amazing down there, man. I, I love the facility. And uh, any kind of work that I need done or anything I need to get done, I can get it done there. And Roman, when you're at ATT, they're all fighters are there. And that's your love and that's your profession. But I'm wondering, at Elite 
athletic performance when you're there? Do you ever get hyped a little bit by meeting or seeing other athletes or other sports? I don't know if you're a sports fan. I don't know if Dwayne Wade's been there. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's, it's definitely it's um it's definitely an awesome awesome uh, place to be, especially when you do get different athletes in there. I haven't had I wasn't haven't been fortunate enough to meet uh, D Wade. You know, I'm a big Heat fan, so it would be pretty awesome to meet him, but. There has been plenty of athletes that have come through there that I've, I've had the opportunity to shake their hands and talk, just converse. And um, yeah, man, it is, it is it's definitely surreal. And it, it, like you said, it's motivating. It's definitely motivating when, you know, you have top athletes training in the same gym. You feel like you're doing the right things, you know? Like, all right, he's here. That means I'm probably in the right place. So <laughs> That's really a cool part of it. it. There's a lot of hard work, a lot of training. But to be, like you said, to be around athletes and fighters that are hardworking and top-notch it really builds yourself when did you take that step where were you? were you in the Tallahassee area beforehand or before coming down to South Florida so I'm originally from Key West Florida um, you know I like to consider myself riding by Friday Key West and um, I went to Tallahassee uh, to go to school uh, originally uh, to Florida State and that's when I uh, started my fight career at a gym called Train Fight Win, and um, I had a couple amateur fights there, and that's where you know I basically began my career in fighting. So, um, but you know, once when I I really wanted to pursue fighting and a, as a career as a profession, I knew the place for me was in South Florida. I knew I needed to make the move down because of, like you said, man, it's just a melting pot. It's a for for high talent and um, you know the best in the world as as far as mixed martial arts. Undefeated fighter Roman Feraldo, you mentioned Key West. Are you a conk? Uh, through and through. <laughs> Both uh, sides. <laughs> That's great. Hey, did you play any sports when you were at Key West High School? Um, so I wrestled and played baseball. Did you when you went to F? You said you went to FSU. Did you play sports then at FSU or just went for the education? Um, so originally I actually went there um, to, I also played rugby. It wasn't for Key West. Um, we had a club team down here and um, I had a few scholarships offered. And um, I went up there for their club team and, um, you know, I went there for that. But once in a I, I had a buddy of mine who was into mixed martial arts and I had always loved it. And once in I was introduced, I kind of just, uh, I hung up my boots. And uh, uh, strapped on the gloves, man. It was uh, it was the right fit. Hey, that was the thing. You just had a friend that was into it and just said, hey, why don't you come with me and try this? Yeah, it was, well, you know, the competitive nature. I had a buddy here. like, yo, I bet you I can kick your ass. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's go find out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mentioned rugby, too. Hey, that's not tiddlywinks. Rugby's a tough sport as well. You always into the, the physical sports? Yeah, I like contact, man. I've always been into it. You know, football, wrestling, rugby, you know, baseball, even hockey. I, I, I've always loved, I like contact. I like, I like, you know, the physical actions and getting in there and, and uh, doing some damage. Now, Roman, I don't know too much. That, I don't know anything really, your high school background and sports there. How were you as a wrestler, not to brag or anything, but did you make regions? Did you get to go to state? You know, um, unfortunately, I had, uh, it, it, without getting too personal, I had a, uh, kind of a, a back and forth with uh, my schooling I, I you know I didn't have the uh, the greatest upbringing so I was back and forth in school and um, I ended up I ended up uh, graduating but not you know not too well and uh, just having to really having to push through some some tough times through through high school you know family issues and stuff but you know I, I unfortunately I didn't I didn't make reasons or anything like that I wish I wish I would have been able to dedicate more time to it because I really did love it you know, sad, sadly to say, it was a regret of mine. Well, hey, it makes you stronger, and you were able to get through high school, which was good, and go on to college. Did you end up finishing college? No, I, I, I into my third year, I said, I want to fight. You know, I was going to school for marketing, and um, it was, uh, you know, it was just not the right thing for me. I was like, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I'm, I'm supposed to be doing this, not because I truly love it, and I, I found a passion for fighting, and that's what I dedicated myself uh, through and through to fighting and, and, uh, and I, haven't, I haven't looked back since. 
Well, marketing and business, that all will tie in later as you elevate as far as from the business standpoint of MMA career. So it might be something you could fall a little bit back on. I'm curious, you're in Tallahassee. You're in the state capital. Did you have any interest in politics or government? <laughs> uh, no, man, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a rebel, man. I'm a free spirit. Uh, I like balance. And, uh, you know, I think everybody, if you work for it, you should be able to acquire it. But, um, you know, as far as politics, uh, I try to stay away from it. You know, um, I, look for, I look for the best candidate. I think that's going to suit uh, everybody in the long run. But, um, yeah, man, I, I, get, I get a little weary with the politics. I, I kind of stay away from it. You're a smart man, Roman. Stay <laughs> that way, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, hey, Roman, it's funny because Key West, what a great spot, though. And then South Florida, of course, a little bit further, American Top Team, Coconut Creek, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano, Miami, all that. You went to Tallahassee. Really rustic, really cool area and all. What was that like for you as far as just the area? coming from Key West, South Florida, going up to Tallahassee? Definitely a change of pace, um, I, and I loved it, man. At the time, it was, it, was definitely, um, it was definitely great for me. It was a great learning experience. You know, def, you know, obviously, growing up with the family, traveling back and forth, it was the one time in my life where, um, not one time, but it was the beginning of my life where I was on my own and handling my own business and my own affairs. So it was uh, definitely necessary, and... Um, I, you know, I'm very fortunate to have been able to experience it. Um, I, I met some really, really close friends that I still am, am in contact with, and and uh, I'm very grateful that it happened. With American Top Team, and I know you mentioned coaches and some names. Who got you ready for this one? Did you spar with anybody for this one? Yeah, um, I mean, for for every fight, I, I have sparring partners. Um, fortunately. I, 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 you know where I'm at. I'm in. I'm in a place where I have been in a place since my last fight, where I was able to help. You know, a big part of this game. As much as it's a it's a one on one solo game, you you need training partners. And the best way to get training partners is to put yourself out there and and just provide help. And I was fortunate enough to uh, assist with uh, Santiago Pondenivo's camp. Which he got a you know a victory in. What a fight! You were there against Miguel Beza. That was like yeah. one of the best fights, not just of the year, but in a long time. What was it like being there, part of that one? It was amazing. It was really amazing to be a part of it. Just to, and for to see to see uh, Nebo come through and, and, and finish strong. Um, you know, super proud of him, man. Uh, and you know, obviously, just very, very fortunate and very proud that I could be a part of. It helping him, you know, with that, you know, just to, just to see it, you know, you, you do have some self pride and they're like, yeah, you know, so I w it was amazing to see that, you know, um, I was also fortunate enough to help with, um, you know, uh, with uh, Yuroslav Amanov's camp, obviously him beating Douglas Lima, that was an amazing fight, total dominance, I mean, when you train with a guy like him, you see it, you're like, man, this guy's going to be the next world champion, um, uh, fortunate enough to train with uh, Renato Maricano, Total dominant fight, and um, I was also this, these last few weeks. I was I had the pleasure of training with Dustin Poirier, which oh. was you know which is crazy because I feel like this game really gives you if if you really do do diligence, this game gives you what you need. And, uh, Dustin being a south ball, my opponent being a south ball, yeah. it's just worked out. It's been really great. So I feel like I'm more than prepared with the guys that I've been training with. You were Roman McGregor. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm do, I think I was doing McGregor a little better than he was. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, Roman, that you're able to help them and they're able to help you. And that's what's awesome about being a part of American Top Team. I'm curious, what has ATT fighter Jorge Masvidal meant to you? Oh man, he's been he's been huge for me, man. You know, uh, even as a kid, uh, you know, I grew up watching I, I grew up watching George as a fighter, and um, being able to be for, you know fortunate again. I'm just I'm very blessed in my life. I'm fortunate enough to have the people around me, and and um, you know my my cousin Juan Carlos was a family friend of his. He, he helped him in the beginning of his career as far as strength and conditioning, and I got the introduction to our striking coach Paulino Hernandez. And um, being able to see him and where he's at in his career, 
and uh, just you know be able to pick his brain and uh, you know get guidance and and um, it's, it's been amazing and you know again being ATT just provides you know it provides so much you have guys who are two decades into their career guys who are in the middle of their career guys who are just beginning and everybody it's a melting pot of this knowledge and experience and like even Dustin you know for this last camp it, it was awesome to be able to pick his brain you know fam, family man you know I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough my, my wife she's due any day she was actually due on uh, the Saturday so she's passed due so you know being able to pick people's you know these fighters brains you know how do you do it you know traveling back and forth George you know how how's your life what's you know what do you focus on in these moments you know just being able to ask the ask the questions that's going on internally and and then you know and then be able to give their point of view because they've already done it it's been it's been huge did you ever think of boxing or doing any street fighting uh boxing for sure uh the street fighting i i i, I try to stay away from you know for legal purposes uh <laughs> well okay <laughs> well I mean, some of them like kimbo slice and masvidal do you think they have a data to that <laughs> Yeah, the backyard stuff for sure. You know, if, if you know if the price was right, but for the most part, man, I, I actually my my love um, as a kid growing up was boxing, and um, you know I'm a huge fan of boxing. If you can see it in my in my style of fighting, I I enjoy striking, um, and I enjoy throwing the hands. So it's it that's probably uh, I would say my biggest motivation as far as when I was a kid. What got me into martial arts in general was boxing. A lot of great boxing facilities to train in South Florida too. Did you have any yeah. favorite fighters when you were growing up? Um, so I would, you know, as a kid, I my I would say my favorite fighter as a kid was Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. Um, super fast, nasty left hook, you know, great head movement. Um, as you know, being able to do more research, uh, I was, uh, you know, moved into I like moving past back to the decades and. I spent a lot of time studying the Four Horsemen, you know, uh, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, um, Tommy Hearns. Hitman. Uh, you know, the Hitman. And honestly, here, here, my last fight, you know, you, my last fight, if you look at it, I was wearing the war hat, Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler, marvelous Marvin Hagler. Yes, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> rest, rest in peace, my man. I, 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 out of all the, out of all the Four Horsemen, I feel like my style, his style fit my, uh, or I fit best with his style. You know, we. I meshed well, and I, I, I spent hours watching his films, uh, countless hours, you know, just watching the study and his mindset, you know, getting into the fight, where, you know, where his head was. And I love the man. He, I, I fit with him the best. And, um, you know, unfortunately, he passed away. Rest in peace. And, um, but definitely not forgotten, man. A Hall of Famer, and definitely we remembered for centuries to come, I believe. <laughs> well, let's wrap this up. A couple quick ones for you. U.M. or F.S.U.? Oh, man, you got to do that. I F.S.U. through and through, man. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, man, it's in my blood. I, I have to represent from a, from, for, the, for the squad. George, you know, George, George might not like that. But. No, he might. And, you know, I remember a press conference over at ATT. He just came back from U.M. practice. He was late, but he had good reason. He was at the practice, and he had his U.M. hat on and everything. I know. I don't think I'm gonna be too well at the hurricane. You know, it's funny too because uh, my my cousin JP Gate, he is uh, he's a pitcher for the UM Hurricane. So you know, it's in it's in the blood, man. We get we we got competitors, and you know, when we go out there, I, it, it was funny. We were at, I went out to last year. I went out to the game, and we we're playing Florida. They were playing Florida State. And regardless, I'm gonna still root from, for for the fam. But yeah. FSU, FSU, go nose, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. And, and that's cool about him, too, playing for UM and all. That's great. Yeah. You, hey, congratulations. You mentioned about the baby. What are you going to do if you're fighting and then the wife is still due? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, been, it's, been, uh, it's been a little tricky here, you know. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with the, with the fight career, it's, uh, it's still beginning, and, you know, we got to pay bills. So i got to get in there when i got to get in there, and, uh, you know, we're going to handle it how we can. Um, well, it's good that we have, like, Twitter and Facebook and Zoom and cell phones and all this stuff now. At least you could, even if you're not physically there, you could still be there. Yeah, you know, obviously, it, it's my first child, so I definitely want to be here, um, you know, for, you know, 
hopefully, I mean, God willing, uh, everything will work out for in the plan and we can get this baby popped out and then I can go handle my business, knock this dude out, collect the check and get back home. And then lastly, hey, Cody Law, Johnny Eblen on the Bellator 262 card as well. What's that like? And there are others. What's what's that like when you're fighting on a show and you've got other American Top Team teammates fighting there as well? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, and that was, you know, uh, it's kind of hard to remember everybody you trained with. I also, these last couple of weeks, I've been able to uh, do rounds with Johnny. Johnny's uh, an animal, man. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a little bit ahead of me in the career. I'm trying to catch up. He's 8-0. Uh, you know, I'm 5-0. I'm, <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking to catch up right now. But it's awesome, man. Like you said, we, we got a, we got a, uh, I believe there's four of us on the card, but yeah, there's a few on the card. There is a bunch on the card, which is awesome. That's great. Yeah, we got. But uh, you know, when you when you name those names, Johnny Eflin, you know, Cody Law, Roman Ferraga, all undefeated fighters coming from ATT, um, you know, and it, and this shows, man. We're, we you get to train with the best. There's a reason why we're undefeated. There's a reason why you know we're hungry. We we want it. You know, we're we're looking to grow in the in the company. We're looking to move forward. We're looking. We're always challenging ourselves. Um, these guys, you know, that I, I get to I get to share the share the match with. Like I said, we're the best, and you know, we believe we're the best, and we're going to continue to progress. And um, you know, I just just from just from working with him, Cody's a what 145 or so I get to watch him. I don't really get to train with him too much, but Johnny, I get to train with. You know, he, he's an 85er, and I'm I'm a pretty big 70. I'm a pretty big 70. So working with him is awesome. I've seen the improvements in his striking and. Um, you know, going from going from a wrestler, you know, where he's going to just dominate you. I mean, he can still dominate anybody in the wrestling game, but going from a wrestler to wanting to improve in the other parts of his game is, is you know, it, it's motivating. And I, you know, I can see that. I'm like, all right, that's what I need to do. You know, I'm a striker. I need to, I need to be able to wrestle people. You know, so just keep your heads up. You might, you might see a, a different part of the game um, in this next fight. I'm gonna try to dominate in a different fashion, but it's um. It's awesome, man. I love I am, and very fortunate. I'm, I'm super excited that I get to share uh, the same car with these guys because I think it's going to be. I think it's going to. We're going to run the board. You know. Are you part of the clique with Sal and Josh and the guys? Sal, yeah, Josh, and the guys. Yeah, bro. I mean, we're all a big clique. <laughs> That's it, man. That's the ones. They're they're awesome. They're all awesome. But that that's a that's good. And they and talk about wrestling. Those guys are accomplished wrestlers. Yeah, and Sal G and Josh. Oh, definitely, bro. And you see it, man. You see it, and and it and it, and it translates. It translates throughout the gym. Um, you know, everybody. You know, when when you're surrounded by everybody's trying to get better, and everybody's trying to be the best in the world, it's gonna it it it's gonna produce. You know, pressure makes diamonds. It's gonna produce the best. And I love it, man. I love I love the environment, the sink or swim environment, where you know, but. It's not, it's not just sink or it's not just like you know ruthless dog eat dog. It's sink or swim. You know, push yourself. Be willing to push yourself. And if you need help, if you need you know you need work or you need you want to ask questions, we're here for you. So and I love that. You know, it's the big thing there in that gym. What I really love is just it requires effort. You got to get in there and be willing to put in a hundred percent. And you know that's one thing that I've always done in my career is just put in a hundred percent, man. You know, if I if I'm in the room, I'm working. And, um, and I love it, man. I'm, I'm very fortunate. So, Well, we're fortunate to be able to see you, and we could see you at Bellator MMA 262 on Friday, July 16th. Bellator MMA YouTube channel, Showtime Sports YouTube channel, Pluto TV. You'll be fighting against John Ramirez. John Ramirez. And that'll be starting at 6 o'clock on the prelim card, and then the main card will be on Showtime at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. And we'll look forward to seeing you get your victory and then boosting yourself up and getting on the main card the next time. You're right, my man. I love to hear it, brother. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks. Thank you so much for taking the time, Roman. Thank you very much.